just played me a song uh, called I Love. Mm -hmm. 1999. From 1999. Mm -hmm. And that beat sounded real familiar. <laughs> I mean, you just gotta, um, you gotta just check it out a little bit. If you got a good music ear, you can hear it without, you know, somebody pulling your coat on it. I, I actually, um, at one point, I went to look up the video that's out now, the new version, and mine popped up right next to it. So somebody knows something. <laughs> and, and what what song, what what beat resembles the I Love beat? I Love is a song that was on uh, my album. I think it was, uh, man, I want to say it was Chase Cat. I don't know which album it was. I got so many albums. It was on one of them two short albums. But <clears throat> but um, it was produced by uh, Daz Dillinger from Dog Pound. And it featured, it was me, my album, featuring uh, Scarface, Daz, and Trick Daddy. We shot the video in Miami, 50 Girls. It was, it was, it did good at the time. It was, you know, it was a good record for me. And... Fourteen years later, I'm just just checking it out, and and the uh, the all go to everything song comes on, and I mean, if the first time I ever heard it, I was like, whoa, because it's 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 very distinct. Not that they just slowed it down and they used the same riffs, but the drum pattern is like it, it's just it's that same little. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Jane gold all in my chain. So I called Daz. I was like, man, I didn't I didn't tell him anything. I just said, go play um our song I Love and then play All Go to Everything. He called me right back like, whoa. <laughs> like shit. But you know, I mean it's all in the game, man. Hip hop is all about recycling. You know, with the with the whole sampling stuff and even the the origins of the first early day hip hop records were all replays of like disco records and stuff. So I mean, that's how we that's how we get out. I I can't tell you how many times I've turned to Parliament Funkadelic for inspiration and actually just outright replayed or sampled a song. So, you know, as long as we uh take care of everything properly, it's, it's all love. Well, I mean from what I understand, like Trinidad James, um, you know, who who we we've, we've interviewed before, um, he was rapping for about eight months before All Gold Everything mm -hmm. came out. And and he, the beat he got just on the internet, you know, like how producers be mm -hmm. like, yeah, yeah. here's a bunch of beats, you can lease them for twenty five dollars, and you know, I mean, whatever else, and and that's how that song kind of came together. It wasn't like a a serious studio session, and right, 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 right. It was, right. It was a little bit of a kind of like like some random events that just came together with a hit record. That's you know? hip hop. That's how it is. Yeah. But you know, like I'm one of those guys, man, who I figure it's been such a long career. And there, there have been so many songs that I could have, like, you know, pressed the panic button and, you know, remakes of two short songs. I can name you a few that you probably didn't even know the similarities. You could listen to listen to Cuss Words, which is way back in the 80s, late 80s, mm -hmm. on my album, um, uh, Life is Too Short, and then listen to Riding Spinners. <laughs> it's like, you know, very similar beats. But, yeah. but... All through my whole career, you know, I, I watched that. Um, I read the uh, was XXL to borrow the lender. You know, lines. You know, I mean, people have taken little one lines out of my songs, <laughs> but just little phrases and just just punch lines. I just I just let it go, man. I figure, you know, I I, I do make so many songs. I do so much mm -hmm. that it's part of the legacy. Is you know, you can't be you can't be a notorious big without somebody just borrowing your lines over and over again. You know, you just can't be legendary without passing it down. I, I've never aspired to be one of the best lyricists, never claimed to be, but they still recycle the too short. It's cool. Well, I mean, you said in your, in your song, as Dave Chappelle got it from me, make $50 yeah. million. Dollars. Yeah, I mean, we were saying that shit 20 years ago. <laughs> I'm a bitch, I'm rich. That's, that's, <laughs> but Dave Chappelle's the homie, and it's like, that's how I, that's how I see it, man. I feel like if I was to sit there and go, man, this part's a Snoop Dogg, that's clearly, he got it from Short Dogg. But what did, where did Short Dogg get his shit from, you know? Like, I borrowed things to become my, myself, so it's supposed to be like that. Now, but I mean, in, in music, from, from what I understand, and stop me if I'm wrong, you could actually quote someone else's song, but unless you repeat it 
mm -hmm. throughout the song. You don't actually have to pay the other person. Is that is that correct? Um, I never really got into the, the details of borrowing lines because you know it's like a there probably is a little yeah, technicalities you, in there yeah, somewhere. I mean, like, if you was like you know, like for example like. You know, when, when Cisco kept saying, because she was living La Vida Loca, mm -hmm. um, who, who, who wrote that song? Uh, Ricky, R Ricky Martin. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the writers around that song got a piece of that song. <laughs> you know that. what I mean? Just for that one line, because it was used. It was a big you know, Or like, you know, when Kanye said, you know, 50 said, you know, change your style up. You know, 50 got paid off, off that song. But you, <laughs> but you could actually quote, from what I understand, like a, a single, if you just say it once in the song, it's cool. It's cool. Well, you know, man, I, I take it as, as, I take it all as flattery, man. It's just, with me, I almost want you to, you know, keep my words and phrases alive. You know, I, I, I feel proud when, I feel like a proud father when somebody uses a piece of my music. It's cool, because I, I, always, I always look at it, man, everything to me comes from the funk, the 1970s funk bands. That's my thing right there. So, as much as they influence me, I get a kick out of saying, hearing somebody saying "Too Short" influenced them. I seen him at the Harley Partner. Was like, "What's up, Partner? What, uh, what's up, Partner? What up?" That was it. Gave him a pound of anything. See, I ain't no bitch ass nigga. That's my thing. We didn't even get far enough to where it's one. It was one person's signature or this. It was just to the point where it was like, it was so much, so many people you had to get on the same page, basically. Mm -hmm.